Hey guys, this is Damien with Dame Tech and I'm back with another video. In this video, I wanna show my setup whenever I use the Samsung DeX, as well as my experience using solely the DeX as a PC replacement for a whole week. As you can see, I have my 13 inch InnoSyn portable monitor that I will talk about more later in this video, a Razer mouse, Magic Keyboard, and a generic dock. After having a bad experience with DeX back in 2019, I completely wrote off DeX as unusable and unstable. However, in 2023, I must admit, I was completely wrong. First and foremost, many popular Microsoft or Google apps like YouTube are completely optimized and resizable for DeX. It literally feels like Windows with how well apps are optimized and can be resized for multitasking. Now, another app that I do want to show is Microsoft Word. In the past, I had issues with random crashes and stability with app resizing. But now, I haven't experienced a single issue after one whole week of usage. Which, honestly, is a huge win since Word is a primary software I use for work. I also like that despite the application being the mobile version, many of the important desktop features have been ported over to the DeX version. Now, another important app that is crucial to my workflow is PowerPoint. Since I'm also a college professor, I primarily use PowerPoint to help students through my classroom lectures. My main issues beside the random crashing was the mobile app having limited access to necessary features that I needed for my workflow. But again, this is all now fixed with DeX in 2023. And last but not least, as stated earlier, popular workflow apps like Outlook, Blackboard, Canvas, which I primarily use to grade all of my student papers and quizzes, QuickBooks, Square, which I use for processing payments for my private practice, the list goes on and on. So much improvements with DeX in 2023. Now, let's talk about the not so good. When it comes to multitasking, as you can see, DeX still limits open usable apps to only five at a time. With a 13 inch display, I can't really complain, but maybe with a 15 inch display or higher, I can see this definitely being a problem. Now, on another note, this isn't necessarily bad, but I do also hope Samson can further refine their file app system as navigation does feel rather rudimentary, especially when copying or transferring data between external hard drives. Nevertheless, let's quickly talk about gaming. Dex is simply still unpolished for bringing a PC-like experience to mobile or just gaming in general. As you can see, for many games like Brawlhalla, I'm unable to enlarge games to full screen without experiencing crashing. In fact, many games that I tested do not fully allow full screen mode, which is a bummer. However, on the same note, to be fair, games like Brawlhalla do fully bring PC controls, which is awesome. Certain games can be played on a mouse and keyboard or even with a controller. Here I have the new games for controller, working perfectly with Samsung DeX. The gaming experience is flawless when it actually works. Speaking of flawless, despite being a rare exception, there are games like Albion Online that brings a full PC-like experience to the DeX. This gives me so much hope for the potential gaming possibilities Samsung DeX could provide. Albion Online is a PC MMO ported to mobile and it runs flawlessly. Now again, this is rare as many games can barely even open or they crash when enlarged or limited to touch controls. But seeing Albion Online play like this just shows the gaming potential Samsung could bring to the decks. Imagine being able to play COD Mobile or even Warzone Mobile with a mouse or keyboard when activating decks. Man, that would be awesome. All in all, I was completely wrong about Samsung DeX as it is now a great PC replacement when it comes to multitasking and light work. Gaming on the other hand, still needs a lot of work and optimization from the devs. But on a quick note, again for those interested, I did add a link to the description below for those interested in picking up this portable OLED monitor that works perfectly for Samsung DeX. As you can see, on the left, you have two USB-C ports along with HDMI connectivity and speakers are also located on both sides of this monitor. This is an absolutely amazing product when considering the versatility and how it works well with PC, tablet, phone, or even consoles. But let's get back to the S23 Ultra. Again, 
I was completely wrong about the Samsung DeX because in 2023, the DeX is completely usable and a true PC replacement for those doing administrative or light work. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on Samsung DeX and if you would use it as a PC replacement. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you all next time.